Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, experiences some of the most extreme pressure swings in the solar system. You might expect it to be scorching hot all the time, but at night, temperatures plummet to a frigid minus 180 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, daytime temperatures soar to a blistering 430 degrees Celsius. This drastic shift happens because Mercury has an extremely thin exosphere rather than a proper atmosphere, meaning it can't trap heat. Beyond the extreme temperatures, Mercury is constantly bombarded by intense solar radiation, almost seven times what Earth receives. The planet's surface is covered in craters and rugged terrain, making landing an incredibly tough challenge. With little air resistance, slowing down a spaceship would be difficult, increasing the risk of a high-speed crash. Even if you did land safely, survival would be nearly impossible. The latest NASA spacesuits can only withstand up to 121 degrees Celsius, nowhere near Mercury's extreme heat. And with a single Mercury day lasting nearly half a year, you'd be stuck in either unbearable heat or deadly cold for months. Your best bet? The Terminator Zone, the region between night and day where temperatures might be slightly more manageable. But even there, conditions change rapidly, making it an increasingly risky place to stay. Venus, often called Earth's twin, is the closest planet to us, just 40 million kilometers away. The trip would only take about four months, but once you arrive, the nightmare begins. Venus is covered in thick yellow clouds, beautiful from space, but deadly up close, as they're composed of corrosive sulfuric acid. Even with an advanced spacesuit filtering out toxic gases, descending into Venus's thick atmosphere would be a challenge. As you approach the surface, visibility drops dramatically due to the dense carbon dioxide-rich air. The temperature? A searing 450 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. Only about 10% of sunlight penetrates the thick clouds, leaving the surface in a dim, eerie glow. Walking around would be nearly impossible because the air is so thick. You'd feel like you were wading through a heavy liquid. Even if you had a state-of-the-art pressurized suit, you wouldn't last long. The atmospheric pressure is 92 times that of Earth, enough to crush you instantly. And if that didn't finish you off, the suit would eventually fail, exposing you to the acidic, toxic air. Mars, often considered the most habitable planet after Earth, offers more forgiving conditions, relatively speaking. During the day, temperatures can reach a comfortable 20 degrees Celsius. But don't be fooled. Nights are a different story, with temperatures plummeting to minus 130 degrees Celsius. Mars' biggest challenge is its thin atmosphere, which is mostly carbon dioxide with almost no oxygen. This means not only would you suffocate instantly without a spacesuit, but you'd also be exposed to high levels of cosmic radiation. The radiation levels on Mars are 40 to 50 times higher than those of Earth, posing long-term health risks. If that weren't enough, Mars frequently experiences massive dust storms, with wind speeds reaching up to 100 kilometers per hour. These storms can last for weeks and cover the entire planet, blocking out sunlight and making solar power unreliable. Any attempt at settlement would require airtight, well-insulated habitats capable of withstanding radiation, extreme cold, and violent storms. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is an absolute nightmare for landing. The biggest challenge? Radiation. Even from 300,000 kilometers away, Jupiter's intense radiation would penetrate your suit and end you in seconds. But let's say you had a futuristic suit capable of blocking radiation. Your problems would only be beginning. Jupiter's gravity is 2.4 times stronger than Earth's meaning you'd be pulled in at terrifying speeds. As you enter its atmosphere, you'd pass through layers of frozen ammonia clouds with temperatures around minus 150 degrees Celsius. 
The winds here are no joke, reaching speeds of up to 482 kilometers per hour. If you managed to descend 150 kilometers into Jupiter's atmosphere, you'd reach the point where NASA's Galileo probe was destroyed in 1995. Beyond this, things get darker, hotter, and more extreme. The pressure would increase rapidly, and you'd find yourself sinking into a strange state of matter known as supercritical fluid. Not quite a gas, not quite a liquid. Eventually, you'd reach metallic hydrogen, a bizarre and incredibly dense substance that would trap you forever. If you somehow continued, you'd reach Jupiter's core, an unknown region where temperatures soar to 24,000 degrees Celsius, nearly five times hotter than the sun's surface. Not the best vacation spot. Saturn, the ringed giant, is another gas planet that makes landing impossible. The first challenge? Avoiding its 146 moons and navigating through its massive ring system, which is made up of ice and space debris. Even if you skillfully dodged these obstacles, reaching Saturn's atmosphere wouldn't be any easier. As you descended, you'd encounter stunning red and purple auroras caused by hydrogen in the atmosphere. But this beautiful view comes with hurricane force winds that rage at speeds of up to 1,800 kilometers per hour far faster than anything on Earth. The deeper you go, the worse it gets. The clouds become denser and temperatures swing from minus 250 degrees Celsius to extreme heat as pressure skyrockets. If you managed to make it to Saturn's core, you'd be crushed by pressure 1,000 times greater than Earth's while experiencing temperatures around 11,700 degrees Celsius. Basically, Saturn's just another gas planet where survival is utterly impossible. Uranus is one of the two ice giants, famous for being the only planet that spins on its side. The journey there is long, and once you arrive, you'd have to navigate through its faint ring system. But even if you made it past the rings, things would only get worse. Uranus holds the title for the coldest planet in the solar system, with temperatures dropping below minus 220 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere is filled with toxic gases, including methane, which gives it a blue-green hue. If the freezing temperatures don't kill you, the high winds and ice storms definitely will. One of Uranus's most fascinating features is its diamond rain caused by extreme pressure breaking down methane into solid diamonds. Unfortunately, the same high pressure would also crush you long before you got to see it up close. Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun, is eerily similar to Uranus in terms of composition, extreme cold, and crushing pressure. However, Neptune holds another record. It is the fastest winds in the solar system reaching supersonic speeds of over 2,000 kilometers per hour. Like Uranus, Neptune experiences diamond rain, but it's also a world of mystery. Scientists believe its inner layers could be intensely hot due to immense pressure, with a core temperature of around 7,000 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of the Sun. Landing on Neptune would be impossible, as the pressure would crush you long before you reached anything solid. Like all gas giants, Neptune is best observed from a safe distance. If there's one thing we've learned, it's that Earth is truly special. Every other planet in our solar system is either too hot, too cold, too toxic, or too stormy for human survival. But who knows? With future advancements in technology, we may one day find a way to safely explore these extreme worlds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more space exploration content. Let us know in the comments which planet fascinates you the most.